Irina Rabchinyuk was directly involved in the Euromaidan protests. Every year she marks the anniversary of its beginning. In 2016, Irina was awarded the Order for Courage. On the 1st of December, after the dispersal of the protest on Bankova Street, my family and I were all beaten on the Institutska Street. I was severely injured. My husband and son got minor injuries. And my daughter was hit. It was the Berkut. The Berkut riot police first attacked the Euromaidan in late November 2013 and claimed many victims in the months that followed. Arena's relatives were among those who perished during the uprising. She came to honor their memory. I have to be here. I survived. Others didn't make it. I consider myself lucky. Some of the people who came to the Alley of the Heroes of the Heavenly Hundred remember standing on the Maidan, shoulder to shoulder, with those whose portraits are in the memorial. I laid flowers at the picture of Serhii Didic. He led our unit at the Maidan. We rallied near the presidential administration. Both of us stayed nearby, inside the October Palace. We spent a lot of time talking. He was our spiritual leader. A memorial service was held for the fallen heroes. It was right here, by the stella on the Maidan, where five years ago students gathered to protest the withdrawal from negotiations on the European Integration Agreement and the pro-Russian course adopted by the Yanukovych government. Now this memorial on the Maidan and the portraits of the Heavenly Hundred stand as a reminder about those events. This is Plamena's first visit to Ukraine, but five years ago she closely followed the events on TV. Now she's in Kiev, looking at the faces of those who died protesting. Well, it was well broadcasted as far as I remember everywhere around the world in my country as well. We were hearing, listening a lot about it. It was all about the people against the government, right? The corruption and everything they're doing. It's the same case in my country. Actually, right now we have almost the same kind of protests as you. When government forces seized the Maidan, the trade union's building, where the protesters had set up a field hospital, suffered the most. The building burnt down and it took almost five years to restore it. Now it holds an information exhibit for the Museum of the Revolution. It is very symbolic and very important for everyone present here and for the country at large that the restored and revived building, which is about to be opened for the first time, one of its doors will be to the Museum of the Maidan and specifically the information center dedicated to the events of the revolution. We finished rebuilding the trade unions and will complete rebuilding the democracy in Ukraine. There is a point of no return of which both the president and the Maidan people talked. This is something we've talked about with the participants of the Maidan. The exhibit named Towards Freedom presents photographs depicting key locations of the Euromaidan, some of the personal items of the protesters, and a screen showing footage from the revolution. Soon a dedicated complex will be built to house all exhibits of the Euromaidan Museum under one roof. Reported by Lubov Zadorozhna, UATV.